हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे टॉपिक इज फर्टिलाइजेशन फर्टिलाइजेशन इन प्लांट्स फर्टिलाइजेशन प्ले वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन प्लांट्स लाइफ बिकॉज ऑफ फर्टिलाइजेशन ओनली वी आर एबल टू प्रोड्यूस न्यू प्लांट लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज फर्टिलाइजेशन अ फ्यूजन ऑफ मेल एंड फीमेल गैमीट इज कॉल्ड fertilization which is the topic of the day okay in plants pollen grains transfer from anther to stigma that is called pollination and after the pollination the next step is uh, fertilization which is a very important step let's discuss how pollen grains transfer and what is the what kind of change we feel in pollen grains so this is the diagram of pollen grain this is this is outer membrane of pollen grain that is called exine exine is tough layer this is in time it is comparatively soft layer and there are two nucleus one is the generative nucleus and one is the tube nucleus when this pollen grain falls on stigma of ovary then it starts to absorb food from the stigma now this pollen grain become mature because they are getting food and nutrients from the stigma kha pee ke khub mote tagde ho jate hain and then they develop a pollen tube so how pollen tube is developed pollen tube developed from the in time but very important question in time elongate and develop into a tube and passes out by bursting the wall of exine yahan exine ko burst karke in time aage elongate kar jayegi and there there will be two nucleus by the course of time these nucleus one is the generative nucleus and one is the uh, tube nucleus the tube nucleus will move down and remain at the tip of pollen tube and this generative nucleus will divide into two sperm nucleus or two male gametes these are sperm nucleus which will act as a male gamete this one is tube nucleus now the role of tube nucleus is almost over because the basic role of tube nucleus is to prepare a pollen tube when this pollen tube is developed it, this pollen tube passes through style this is pollen grain falls on stigma this one is stigma and this is style now this pollen tube enter in a ovule through a opening this opening this opening is called micropyle it enter into the ovule and from here it will release all the two male gametes in the ovule for fertilization now here are three cells these three cells are antipodal cell these are two polar nuclei and form endosperm nucleus and here we have egg cell and there are two synergid cell let's see its structure here this is very important diagram for drawing as well as for the labeling okay there are three cells these three cells are called antipodal cell kya bolte hain inko hum antipodal cell anti means opposite in center these two are polar nuclei and these polar nuclei form a one endosperm nucleus these two are 
polar nuclei and here this one is egg cell and egg cell is surrounded by two more cell and these two more cells are called synergid cell now these synergid cell also known as help cell because they help during fertilization moreover they do not do not have much function they are not very important but in case if egg cell is not able to combine at the time of fertilization then the synergid cells helps in fertilization or perform the role of egg cell okay come back here now uh, through this pollen tube pollen grains enter here through a pore that pore is called micropyle now there will be two fertilization because there are two uh, two sperm nucleus so these sperm nucleus will combine in two different ways now let's see here how they combine i hope i can draw this pollen grain divide into two nucleus one is tube nucleus and one is generative nucleus now these tube nucleus helps to produce pollen tube and these generative nucleus will divide into two i will uh, explain it little so we can have a better explanation i will draw this it will divide into two sperm nucleus nucleus and another sperm nucleus the one sperm nucleus will combine with egg cell what is the location of egg cell egg cell micropylar end par hoti hai end ko hum micropylar end kehte hain is end ko hum chelaza end kehte hain it is present on the micropylar end it is again very important question and form zygote now another sperm nucleus combine with two polar nuclei and form endosperm nucleus right here you can see there are two fertilization one fertilization between sperm nucleus and egg cell another fertilization between sperm nucleus and polar nuclei because fertilization takes twice that's why this process is known as double fertilization isko hum kya bolenge double fertilization which is very important question and very important in the plant life as well clear now what you have to understand the next topic that is triple fusion okay for triple fusion we will go in further explanation mai isko thoda upar lekar aati hu taki aapko behtar dikhai de uh we have seen one of the sperm nucleus or male gamete combined with egg cell now all the gametes are haploid all the gametes are haploid what is haploid haploid means single set of chromosome a cell which have single set of chromosome that is n number of chromosomes are there now this sperm nucleus has n number of chromosome this egg cell has n number of chromosome this n combined with another n and form 2n ye 2n kya banta hai zygote so we can say zygote has two set of chromosome and that condition is called diploid kya bolte hain usko hum diploid okay now another set of chromosome we will draw this diagram for the sperm nucleus 
nucleus another sperm nucleus which contain n number of chromosome combined with two polar nuclei polar nuclei kya the yahan dekhiye fir se ye aapka embryo sac hai in embryo sac there are three anti portal cell two polar nuclei and it form one endosperm nucleus so these polar nuclei will combine clear and they will form endosperm kya banayenge endosperm clear okay this sperm nucleus contain n number of chromosome that is haploid this polar nuclei contain n plus n number of chromosome each contain haploid condition haploid means single set of chromosome they combine and form 3n set of chromosome endosperm ke paas mein three set of chromosomes are there means it is triploid kya hai ye triploid or this fusion is called triple fusion this is very important question right so uh, we have discussed what is the definition of fertilization fertilization is the fusion of male and female gamete to form zygote we have discussed how double fertilization takes place double fertilization takes place in two ways one uh, sperm cell combined with the egg cell and in another one sperm cell combined with two polar nuclei and they form uh, triple fusion triple fusion kyu hua kyunki sperm nucleus ka n set of chromosome have combined with two polar nuclei and it has formed three n number of chromosome now moving ahead we have to discuss what will happen after fertilization what is the next step after fertilization or what are the post fertilization event so for that let's discuss the diagram of flower this is pistil this one is ovule these are antipodal cell these are two polar nuclei egg cell and helping cells or synergid cells now from here these are stamen and what is this this one is petals wow and these are two i don't have another chalk so i'm drawing up in the same chalk these are these are sepals so stigma with our soft style with our soft matlab khatam ye khatam ye khatam petals wither soft after fertilization ye bhi khatam stamen wither soft they also dry and fall this whole ovary this one part this ovary convert into fruit and this ovule part will convert into seed what may remain there calyx or epicalyx may remain there and that is called persistent calyx usko hum kya bolte hain persistent calyx we have discussed in previous video that uh, in case of brinjal we have uh, that caplex structure that is the calyx remain attached even after fertilization when the uh, flower is converted into fruit that calyx remain attached and that kind of calyx is known as persistent calyx so students till this video we have discussed the structure of flower different parts of the flower we have discussed about pollination different agents of pollination and self uh, different kind of pollination and fertilization double fertilization and triple fusion for next video tune with us thank you